Good evening. First of all, I'd like to thank the Tenerife Council for inviting me to take part in this conference. I'm the last speaker. They say that the last will be the first. I knew that Alexis Cecilia was worried about what happens with the organic waste. He said that we've heard a lot about what we do. And what we're doing here is to talk about the other side of this issue. FCC manages the collection of rubbish in some 5,000 municipalities in 13 countries. Many of these have already rolled out organic fraction waste door-to-door -door collection. So what I'm going to tell you about is our experience, what's happened. Furthermore, I'm going to try and be neutral about this. I'm just going to tell you what's happening. I've brought some facts and figures that you will probably find significant. This is Barcelona. In Barcelona, we've been working there for many years, collecting the rubbish where we collect the organic fr uh, fraction of the waste. We've been doing this for about 10 years with this system now, with curbside containers. There's just an ordinary container, 800 litres of, they're, lat they're loaded laterally, or they can be loaded from the back. Uh, in some places we do this door by door, it's free, I, users can use them the same as use all the other different fractions they sort at home and they voluntarily leave the waste in the organic container and the ratio is one container of the organic fractions for every two of the other uh, containers. We manage these systems in three districts of Barcelona, then in Bilbao. This is practically the same, but with a slight difference. The person who wants to use the sorting for organic waste has to register with the system. And that way, they're given a plastic key which allows them to open the container. It's a, it's a little key which releases a mechanism so you can open the lid and he can put his organic waste inside. With the registration, this means that he's provided with plastic bags that can be composted and a ventilated bin so that people can do the sorting at home. And as we've heard today, this is, such, this is an important step. Then San Sebastián, another city in the north of Spain, the system takes another step forward. And what it does is that the organic container is closed, as we can see, but it has an electronic lock on it. So what users do is they register in the system, the management system, and they are given a magnetic swipe card. And when you bring it into contact with the container, it opens. These three systems are curbside. Then there's a door-to-door -door collection that we've heard about today. This is a, a municipal system in Astigarraga. Uh, this photo is not one that we manage. On Wednesday, they picked up the paper uh, car and cardboard, but we can still see some organic buckets up there. If they're individual containers identified with a user code twice a week, they will put it out on the street and they'll hang them on these perches and they will, the service will come around and collect it. So I'd like to talk to a little bit more in detail in the San Sebastian system, which I think is interesting, maybe a slightly more advanced. I've brought some help with me, Isaskun Vasquez. We have a video, but I'll tell you all about it to, to keep this quick, and this way we can all go home. Isaskun talked about the way the service is set up. It's a normal collection system that you'll find in um, packaging, paper and cardboard. There's no special problems with this. This container, when it's collected, it transmits the information on the chip to the truck, so we pick up the information on the weight that it's picking up. So basically, there's no significant problems with this system in maintaining the containers. Maybe we need to be a little bit more careful. Obviously, you need to wash them with the right frequency, but the experience we have from San Sebastian suggests that there is no more complicated than normal waste collection that you do with all the other fractions of the waste. When people register, the local council gives you um, a bin like this, and the organic waste at home, 
will lose about 5% of its weight because of evaporation of the water while it's at home. In the bag that the local council provides, this is the, the cost of the bag is, played by, is paid by the, the local council. These can be used uh, compostable. compostable. The consumer with his card, he flashes it over the container which opens, but maybe the battery in the container may not work so normally it will be thrown into the general rubbish bin. These are things that happen from time to time. It's no real problem. So maybe we need to be more precise to ensure that the system works properly. The local council in its municipal offices have like vending machines so that the consumers can have a cup of coffee and they will put their card onto the indicator and it will give them one of the rubbish bags that they can use an enormous investment we're talking about over 150,000 euros on these rubbish bags that we can turn into compost in this initial phase that we've been working on for the last four days four years sorry we also asked Carlos Sanchez who's the expert in charge of this this is a pilot system for collecting organic matter in San Sebastian. The people here in the Basque Country are highly committed. People do recycle and they recycle well the cardboard, glass and packaging. The objective is to do the same with the organic fracture. In the last few years we've seen the way to attain our objective, and that is through constant communication. A, con a curbside container is an easy system to use. Access through a customized card is also very user-friendly, and for us, for the local council, it's an excellent control system because we get a lot of information, and it enables us to act on the information that we receive. Loads of information. The, the local council's app, which is run by their staff, receives this information. Each user has his own file, so we know when he opens the container, how many times the card is used. Based on a criterion, it, it will open the container every once a week over two months, and this will give them a discount on the local tax for collecting rubbish. I've, 77,000 houses in San Sebastian, 28% are members of this scheme. So maybe this is the challenge that the local council feel, uh, faces, and that is to bring more people into the system. The professor from Austria was talking about the municipality of Gans with a participation of 78% in systems of this time. So there's a lot of upside here for people to sign up to the system for having their organic waste collected. We have loads of data. I'm just going to go into a few of these. We can go into more depth later on, if you like. Of the total rubbish collected at different sectors in Barcelona, between 11 and 17% is what is contained in the c container that's opened on the curbside that works without any card system. In San Sebastián, we're talking about 8%, because this is 8% of 28% of the families, we have to make the correction. But the door-to-door -door system, like the one we saw, lead generates 68% to sorting of the organic matter. Re the reject fraction, the container is open, then you get a high reject fraction. Salvador, you'd have a problem with your composting. You're talking about 30%. And this has not improved. since Between 10, 2010 and 2015, this seemed to be starting to take off, but then it stabilized again over time. And this gives us the feeling that there's a major problem of having open containers on the curbside. But one piece of information that we didn't expect when we, we talk about the reject fraction or the impurities in the closed system and the door-to-door -door collection systems, the percentage is very low. So the bag itself can be used for compost. We're talking about 0.5% of impurities, which is practically zero. So we've drawn the conclusion that by families, we're talking about very similar information with the problem that we said that only 28% is signed up to the, the system. But with it, it's a far more easier, usually, as Carlos Sanchez said, with this system, 
we're talking about getting the same amount of um, organic fraction as we would with door-to-door -door collection, which is not as easy to do in, build, in big cities. We also collect the commercial fraction, which is on a different circuit. In Barcelona here, you do have to sign up. It's part of the, the local rubbish service, and they actively apply. We work with hoteliers to improve the quality of the material that we collect. And it is true here that the percentages are far higher here. We're talking about collecting about 60% of the, the waste that has been previously sorted. And the impurities, the percentage of impurities, are far more acceptable, around 6%. But there has been a reduction. So working on the door-to-door, -door has borne fraught. So Fruit. So over the years, we can see there's been a drastic fall to a very acceptable of 5% of the fraction of impurities in this fraction of organic waste. And that's it. So in the end, you'll be wondering which system is best. Which system should we roll out in our municipality? Well, quite honestly, it depends, because what you have to do is to extrapolate these different systems to the specific characteristics of the municipality and to each neighborhood, to the context within the city. So there isn't a single solution. It's not one size fits all. So that's what I had to say to you. If you want, uh, if you want more information, just ask the questions.